All right, so today we're here with Tucker, and he has been guarding his um, guarding his guardian. And so this is what we would call resource guarding, where the resource that he's guarding is the guardian herself. He gets tense and nervous when people especially try to go in between him and his guardian. So what we want to do today is use some um, counter conditioning to help him start to relax and make a positive association between people coming and approaching his guardian and him getting a really yummy treat reward. This will help him stop thinking of this as something he needs to guard and that this is a negative experience and making it a positive one. Essentially, we're going to be training him to think of things the opposite way. Right now, he's tense and nervous when someone's approaching and this is where we're gonna reward him for being calm and relaxed. So we're gonna be using these kind of high value tricky trainer treats. Using a high value treat is a very, very important. You need to have something that's more motivating than anything else in their environment. So we, you definitely wanna get a good uh, treat reward to make this a very positive experience. When we're doing counter conditioning, the things that we need to think about are the distance that the person is from um, the dog. So how far away I am from him and his guardian that he's guarding. And then we want to think about speed. If I were to just stand up and start running through, that would be way too fast for him and he'd get really anxious and probably try to lunge towards me to correct me from doing that. So we want to be thinking about how far I am and then speed and then how, um, how much noise I'm making. So the way we want to start this first is to be really calm and quiet and I'm going to be still and I'm just going to toss treats over to him. And then I'm going to slowly get closer until I can kind of walk by him. But I'm going to be moving at a very slow pace. I don't want to, he is not ready for me to move at a much faster pace. Over time, you can start increasing the speed that people are moving. And then last, I would increase the amount of animation that they're showing. So right now I'm going to be nice and calm and quiet and probably not say much unless I'm making a comment for the video. Eventually, you want to be able to be talking, oh, hi, how's it going? And just like people typically would in a social setting. But at this point, to help him break this down into manageable components so he can be successful and change the way he feels about this, we're going to start um, at the easiest level, which is having a greater distance and, um, and uh, me going slow and being farther away. Okay. So the guardian is holding the phone herself, and what I'm going to do is just have to take this treat, and I'm going to crouch down over here. Can you see me? Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to toss this treat over to him. Can you um, stand up and move down the stairs? Don't fall down when you do this. Yes. Um, and just so you can get the distance between yourself as a camera person and then where um, Tucker is. Do you see Yeah. Me? Yeah. Can you see me? Yeah. Perfect. Just, well, I mean, your legs. <laughs> okay. All right, so I'm just gonna toss the treat over to him. Not my best toss, but that it'll do. Oh, it's under the bed. <laughs> That's okay. I don't want to distract him right now by getting much closer because I don't want him to look up and be startled. Okay. Yeah. Do you see? Um, in his behavior, how he was looking up, his tail's at much lower. Can you see where his tail's at in the video? Yeah, now we can. Okay, do you see how it was lower um, than his back? Yes. So by having it lower than his back, that indicates to me that he's very calm. If he's in a sitting position, dogs who are in a sitting position are typically not going to lunge forward to, um, to be aggressive. So what we see here is if you can notice how he's licking his lips, that's a calming signal. He's laying down, so he's also showing respect, kind of like we, what we did in the leadership exercise. And his tail's nice and low, and it's wagging in a big sweeping motion, which means that he's being friendly and is saying that it's okay to approach. Okay. So these are all things you wanna look for. If his body were to get rigid, stiff, and he were to start staring, that would be something that I would be concerned about, and that means that the person in the, who's doing this counter conditioning is too, too close. close to him. So what, at that point, you wanna back up, have them increase their distance, make sure they're really calm, quiet, and not moving, very mm -hmm. still, and then talk, toss treats to him until he's very, very calm, okay. just like this. This is what I want to see. So what I'm going to do is just kind of work on moving past him. So we start to work on overcoming the hurdle of not being able, 
to walk in between the guardian and the dog and the tucker. So while I'm approaching, I'm going to be giving treats because this is usually when he's trying to guard her and it, usually, and it works. So we're changing the association. Guarding does not prevent people from going through. Well, it's gonna be a positive experience, okay? And now I'm just gonna be right here, which is where right now I'm about right in between the guardian and Tucker. And so I'm giving him treats, giving him treats. And then once I pass by, you wanna pan over to where I am? Yeah. Okay, so once I've passed where, um, once I'm no longer approaching and I'm past, I stop giving treats. Because what he's typically trying to do by guarding his guardian is to tell them a warning, like stay away. His goal is to have the person walk past and away, right? Mm -hmm. So once I go past, he's kind of also accomplished his goal. So I don't want to reward him for that. I want to reward his calm, good behavior, nice and relaxed, just like he was in the video for when I'm approaching and then when I'm directly in between him, himself and the guardian. As soon as I'm past that point, that's when I stop giving food. So let's, I'll go by one more time. Um, and let's see. All right. Toss a treat to him right there. Oh, he moved it. Give him another treat. Now I'm right in the middle between Tucker and his guardian. And then I stop giving the treats because I have passed by. All right. So if you just want to pan up to me real quick. So this is how we're going to be doing counter conditioning to help Tucker um, stop guarding his guardian and resource guarding. All right.